Okay, what I want to uh, do today is I'm going to uh, train. This is this is our Tennessee walking horse, uh, little little filly. Her name's Ed's Cane Sugar. We call her Sug or Sugar. And she's just sweet as anything. She's actually a chestnut base color horse with gray, and she's only uh, she's only a, well, a year and a few months, and she's already really graying out, which I think that's really interesting. And she's out of she's out of our stud horse, uh, Blue Blooded Bandit. And uh, my mare, I think one of my first Tennessee walking mares I got, which is uh, I'm stepping out. We call her Ima. Um, what I want to show you here is I like to when I'm training the horses with a halter and a, a lead rope. I like to. This is just uh, yacht line, which I like. It's got a real nice weight to it. I think it's five eighths. But I stretch it out when I cut it to be two of these and a half. Now it's already tied on there, so it's a, it'd be a, like it'd be a half like that, right? It just seems to be a good length, not too long. I'm not tripping over it a whole lot. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start working with her, see where she is a little bit. Um, my plan is to work her against the rail a little bit and that's the preliminary to get them to uh, trailer load and stuff like that. But I, got, I need to first see where she is. So I'm going to get a flag over here. I like to use the flags when I start uh, just because it extends my, my reach and my arm. And I can be pretty subtle with it or I can get pretty large with it too. Uh, one thing I should say here, I, I've talked a little bit about this in other videos is any kind of when you're putting pressure on a horse pressure is is all sorts of things it could be the the speed that you move it could be the proximity that you are to the horse it could be both it could be like your intention being really direct you know and moving forward stuff like that so uh what you want to do though when you're doing because it's how we're training them is what they call pressure release right it's it's uh negative reinforcement but anyhow what you want to do is when you exert pressure on the horse uh, you use as little as possible and as much as necessary okay but then what you got to do like i like to tell people think of your pressure as like a volume knob like on a stereo or something right but it should be spring loaded to go like if it's zero to a hundred right it should be spring loaded when you let it go to go to zero Okay, so that's, so every time you start off, you could start off with, you know, zero. You don't want to be stuck on like 75 or 100 or something stupid like that. So, and then you're going to get, by doing like that, you'll get a softer and softer horse and you're not going to get them all worried. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to start moving around a little bit here. Come on, girl. And it's important to not yourself move into position have them move right come on come on come on you don't want it what you don't want to do is you don't want to step back you want to be stepping towards them like this okay because i'm moving them out of out of my space come on girl you see i'm not hitting her or anything and you can, if you look at her lips, there, she's got a little bit, little bit puckered. Okay, so she's a little concerned. Not bad, but just a little concerned. So, come on. Okay, and then when I get her going like that, then I'll switch hands, change directions, get her move like that. Come on, come on, girl. See, I'm moving towards her rear end there, getting it away from me. Okay, do it again. Come on, girl. Come on. There she goes. Now you don't want to do mindless, mindless circles. So, like, if you watch her eyes right now, you see how she's looking out that way. 
So that's what she's thinking. She's thinking out. She's not thinking towards me. It's all normal. It's no big deal. Right? And so you see how I'm walking towards her. Sometimes people will inadvertently do this. See, and they'll back up. You don't want to do that. So you want to just keep moving towards them, see? Like this. And I'm going to walk toward, right towards her rear end, and I'll hold up my hand like that. And this is this will be a cue to disengage her hind end. See how she's doing that there? Now she's not planting her, she's not planting her front feet, which I want her to do, so I would pick up like that. There. Start with one step like that. Good girl. And just rub her on the neck like that. Another thing, don't smack your horse. There's there's no reason to smack them. People think like I think it's we do that. A lot of people do that kind of stuff because it's how we treat dogs, and dogs like that. Like if you pat your dog and smack your dog, they like it. it it's like gets them excited. Horses they tolerate it. So if you're trying to give them like a good boy or good girl, you want to do this. You want to rub them like that, not not smack, not smack them. The other thing we do too. See, I'm just engaged in the hind end here. And then the other thing we do is like to let them know it's okay. We just touch them on the forehead like that, just simple like that. That's see, just like that. That's that's a soothing thing to the horse, and they learn really pretty quickly that. Oh, I'm sorry, that you're their friend when you do that kind of stuff. So, so I'm gonna send her off like this. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. I mean, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Good girl. And I don't, you, I don't know if you saw that or not, but that rope was flipping around a little bit. You got to be conscious of that kind of stuff because little things like that will put pressure on the horse too. Up you go. Come on. There you go. Come on. You got it. Good. Good, Shuggy. Good girl. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I like to do this. I like to work with them against a rail like this. This is what I call the rail, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand somewhere like here and I'm going to send her back and forth between between the rails, okay? And this is this is I don't know what she's going to do. I don't I don't know if I've done this with her or not. I don't think I have. Uh, but what that'll do is is that's kind of a claustrophobic sort of a thing. And a lot of times when you're training horses, you'll, you'll be setting them up, like I think, like a, like a controlled uh, stress situation so that you can help them through it without them getting uh, hurt, you know? So, so that's what I'm going to do here. This is, this is a kind of a controlled sort of thing, putting her put her in a little bit of a bind in her mind, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. And I start off, I'll start off with the flag because I'm gonna need probably a little bit of pressure to get her going and then I'll drop it as soon as I can. So I'm gonna stand like this. This is the, this is the cue to, to, to go. And I'm just gonna put the pressure on and the minute she goes, see I released it. So then you saw how, remember how I was just a minute or two ago doing that, getting her to disengage her hind end. That's where that, I did that out there like that so that she would stop. Like, see, I can go like this. She already kind of knows what that is. Horses are so smart. Come on, girl, you got it. And you see how she's just kind of following it. So then I lift up and see how she swings her rear end out. Same thing. Come here. There you go, girl. She's doing this really well. See? So another thing I want to show you is, is see how I'm holding this, this line here? I'm not, I'm not wrapping it like this because they can explode. I mean, they move so fast. They can explode so fast and before you know it, that thing hits your hand, takes your skin off your fingers or something like that. So this is what, what we do is, um, 
you kind of you'll see me monkeying around with it all the time and just get it to where it it's not it's not wrapped around my hands see what i'm saying so so that's what we do there too and it's nice if you if you get in the habit of kind of working with your horse with an open uh, palm if you can as soon as you can get that feel it's gonna it's gonna really help your horsemanship and your moving with horses and i see she's not bothered at all so now she's kind of forgot what i'm doing so i'm gonna get her going again come on girl see see the hand so, so she's following the hand then i go up this and if she was going to go behind me so i flick that flag there to stop her and then i'll send her back this way Go like this. Come on, girl. You got it. There you go. Good girl. So that's the start. That's what I, I start with uh, with trailer loading, okay? I, I alluded to it in the other video we had, so I'm going to put together this. We're going to do it with a few horses, and I'll have Kevin doing it too, so you can kind of you can kind of see it's, there's there's a little bit of a there's a lot of finesse to it, okay? So I'm, now I'm going to put the flag down because I don't need it. And the key is to, is to try to, you know, use as, like I said, use as little as, as possible all the time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this like this, okay? And you've probably seen people swing the ropes like this, putting pressure and then even cracking the horse and stuff like that. Right now I probably, should, probably won't have to do any of that because the, the flag has already, already gave her the idea of what I want her to do. And so that's kind of what I like to do. I like to try to keep it as calm as possible. But what you will see me do is you'll see me like smack my leg and stuff like this. Believe it or not, that's a lot of times enough pressure for the horse. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like I said, they're real, they're real sensitive. So here, I'm going to go like this. Come on, girl. There she went. See? And this is what she, she already knows this, right? She already knows. And this way, girl. Come on. Come on. Now, see, I'm not moving. Back, back, back. Come on this way. See, that's where I kind of had that flag at first. Probably need to do it a little bit more with the flag. But then I pick up. There. Stops her and get her to go. Let's go. Okay, so she's learning. She's learning to follow my hand, okay? That's why I call sending them, you know? And you can, you can send your horse like this into, you can send them into a stall. That's a really good thing. We do that all the time. We send them in a stall ahead of you, you know, stuff like that. You just do this direction. They'll learn to follow your hand. It just makes it so nice for the horse. So come on, girl. Let's go back this way. Okay, stopped. Good. This way, girl. Come on. Now, if you've got a, a rank horse or something, you got to watch because you don't want to get cow kicked or something if they're going by you. That's a possibility. We work with these all the time, so all these horses really know us. They're our horses, so I really don't have a lot of that going on. And see how I just even just wiggled it? Okay. And I'm trying to get her calm like this. She's actually really calm. A lot of times when you do this, you're going to see I didn't move out of her way. You're, a lot of times you're going to get a horse that's nope, nope, yeah, nope. Come on. This way. A lot of times you're going to get a horse that's going to shoot through there like a like a bar of soap on a wet counter, you know. Okay, so I mean she's doing that really, really well. Uh, let me try. It. Let me just test her out a little bit. So I should do like this. Come on. Yeah, see how she's following that, and so she knows, she knows what I want. Okay. Come on. Now you see I'm just hitting my leg, and sometimes if they don't listen, I'll do like, like that, you know. But it's on myself. Seem, seems to be all they really need. And then you can like, you can take the same sort of thing, like see how I'm getting her in a circle here. And see how I'm walking towards her? 
That's important. You want to, this is pressure. So I'm not doing a circle like this, you know, stepping back. I see that all the time. So you want to step towards them. I let her go. She's a, she's a sweet horse. I love this horse. Uh, anyhow, so got dizzy there. So come on, girl. Come on, you got it. Come on, it's move. And I, you know, I like this, this calm moving like this. You now, like I said, some will just, some will really, that really will worry them going between the panels like that. She's not at all seem to be worried. See? So I'm going to disengage her hind end like that. So what we'll do now, I think she's pretty good. So what we'll do is, well now is we'll go to the trailer and I'll show you how all this applies to uh, getting her to trailer load. Here we are at the, at the trailer. Uh, like I said, this is uh, sugar. I, I said in the other the beginning of it that she's out of uh, my mare Ima, and I was wrong. I, I don't know what I was thinking. She's out of my mare Sweetie, uh, Ed's sweetheart deal, or not just a, a sweetheart deal, and uh, so she's out of Sweetie. That's why we called her Sugar too, and she's just real sweet. So what we're gonna do is is a lot of times, you know, like I'll take them up to the trailer like this, and I'll just see, you know, so. I'm just letting her see what she's going to do. Okay, now she's she's investigating. I think she's going to go right in. Um, yeah, she's going to go right in. Maybe not. See now, see. How, so what I'm doing is I'm giving that direction here, right? Like I said, like doing against the rail. So and then I'm just going to, I'm just going to go like this. No. There you go. Now see, I stopped, and she went forward. So I'm just going to wait. This is where you don't, you really got to resist every urge to put more pressure on them. You know, when they're in there. See, she's going right in. So that's it. A lot of times it works like that if you, when you do that, that initial work on the, uh, on the rails and stuff. So now what I like to do, I'm going to get in here. Come on, girl. And I like to stay close to see because the, the trailer will rock and makes noise and stuff, I guess, when they start stepping around. So I like to turn them around like this. Now, I wouldn't do this with some, with a client's horse that I don't know anything about or anything or its history. But I like to just turn them real tight like this. It seems to be a really good way to get them calm about the trailer pretty quick. Okay? Because you're doing something as opposed to letting them get in here and they're just thinking and bug-eyed and thinking, oh no, what's gonna happen? So I like to get them busy doing something, right? So I did it on the one side and now I'll do it on the other side. So I get right in on them, come on girl, like this, see? And I keep her, I keep her head bent, or I, I, I just bump her, I don't, I'm not holding steady pressure. And I'm, if you can see, you can see her spine is, is bent, she's kind of in, in a, a, a wide C kind of thing like an arc, right? So I just do it like this. And then if you ever get in a bind or something, your horse will be pretty relaxed about you, you know, working with them in there and stuff like that. That's what I, that's what I do. So we got a uh, delivery truck coming by here. And then I'll let her, there he goes. Okay. So now what I'll do is I just lead her out. And a lot of times the horses will be kind of nervous about coming out. But she's no problem. And honestly, when I, when I do, if I do enough work on the rail and get them going like that where I send them off, this is usually how it goes. I mean, it really goes this way. Because they just, 
they know what you're asking. And the key, you gotta tell yourself, a couple things to do, like or not to do. Number one, if they're if they got their head in there and they're looking at Nick, you know, don't put more pressure on them, okay? Because that you think all they need is just a little shove to get in, right? You have to understand that they're having all this scary pressure in the trailer pushing on them, and they're trying to work through it, you know. So you just gotta give them the chance to work through it. Now, if they do back up. You'll see me, I start putting pressure. I just do it on my leg like this, right? Like that, that's how I start. And then the other thing you don't wanna do, and this may seem kinda of counterintuitive, but say when they step their, their feet in there, or the first couple steps or something, you don't wanna say good, and you don't wanna pet them on the neck, you don't wanna do anything like that because they're gonna think, oh, that's what you want me to do, right? And they're gonna think that was easy, and then they're just gonna keep going up to that spot like that. So you kinda of gotta be, keep your emotions in check and just be indifferent, you know? Just kinda of deliberate and like you're taking your time that you haven't, you haven't got to where you wanna go yet, okay? So that's a, so you don't wanna do that. You know, you don't wanna praise them when they're, when they're doing that. So here we go, let's see if we'll do it again. Come on. Come on. See how I stopped and then she moved? Now I'm going to put some pressure on again. There you go. Come on. Good girl. Good. You got it. Come on. There you go. There you go. Then we'll take her out again. Uh, we'll see what we do with some other horses too. Maybe we'll get some other or other sort of like uh, problems, you know, that you might encounter. Because uh, she's she did this she did this really nicely. Uh, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna just gonna try to walk in and lead her in and see if she follows me now. There you go. Good girl. Well, see, that was good. So, like I said, we'll we'll send them in. I like to train them to be sent in, and then we'll lead them in, and do all this stuff. Now, I've had I've seen people back their horses out and everything. I, you know, I just don't do a lot of backing out. That's just me. But here we go. Come on, girl. So she did really well with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start working with another horse and see if we can include that on there too. Okay, this is our little filly, uh, Ed's Red Pepper. And she's out of I'm, I'm stepping out. That's how I just get turned around sometimes when I'm talking, you know. And this is Kevin. Kevin's really good with the horses. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that I did with uh, Sugar and uh, show you how we uh, you know get him working against the rails and get him trailer loading so he's gonna you know, he's just getting her used to the flag and stuff like that and uh, so what he's gonna do now is he's gonna get him going around he's gonna get her going around him in a circle and see how he just you know, did that like sometimes just get him going get a little Get her some momentum going. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've seen I've seen a lot of trainers who get them hustling off real fast. There's a, there's a place for all that, but when you're first teaching them something, nice and slow is good. You want to keep them in that thinking, you know, that thinking mind, right? Instead of reacting. So. He'll just keep centering around, and then what he's when he, once he gets here, get her, let her get him going, centering her around. I'm gonna get back a little bit. You see how Kevin is stepping forward towards the horse, towards Pepper. See, he's not stepping back. Believe it or not, it's real common to step back. You want to walk towards him. 
You can see how he's doing that. So he's disengaged, trying to disengage the hind end. Start that cue like that, and he's re he's just reassuring her, petting her on the forehead. There we go. So he's clicking, trying to get that to be a, a cue to move. She does not know what to do yet. So now she moved off, so he stopped. Notice that. And see where he's got the flag, too? How he's got the flag behind him. You know, be really conscious of where you, where you have your tools. If the tools, you know, puts pressure on a horse, be conscious of where it is. And see how, like when he has it behind him, it's, it's kind of like dead. It's, you know, it's not, it's not throwing anything at him. So he's... He's trying to get them to, or her to, uh, disengage her hind end again. There you go. That's good. Get her to back up a little bit. See the, when you're when you're teaching them, when you're first teaching them, it's you reward the slightest try. And, uh, you know, one step shifting your weight, all that kind of stuff is what you're going to be looking for, right? So, sometimes they freeze up like that. Uh, so, yeah, see, he's, he's getting that. Yeah, he stopped her with that flag. See, so keeping her going. Now, that's going to come in handy when he's over here against the rail. Yeah. So, send her off again. There you go. Good. Yeah. See how he's walking towards her. And you kind of want to, here, let me, hey, hey, Kev, let me point out something on the horse, too. I was just thinking here on her. One of the things, like, when he's when he's walking, now I'm going to get on the other side of you. <laughs> She's following me. <laughs> it's going to make it hard. All right. You want to, what you want to, what I was trying to do is show you is the drive line, okay? Um, so I'm going to step back a little bit so she doesn't follow me. So the drive line, see that your drive line's right here, okay? It's kind of like where her withers there. So if you're on that side of it, you're pushing her this way. If you're on, if you're on, if you're on this side, you're going to be pushing her this way, right? And so you'll see. I, I'd like to describe it like as a a bar of soap on a wet countertop, okay? If you push directly into the bar of soap, it will sit there. If you push a little bit to the one side, it will scoot that way. If you push a little bit to the other side, it will scoot that way. And that's how horses react to this. So sometimes when you're doing this, if you're you know getting the horse to move around you in a circle, Sometimes, without really knowing it, you'll inadvertently get in front of their drive line and the horse will stop and you go, why is he, he or she stopping? Why is she stopping? And you don't really, you, you know, it's because you've gotten in, front of the, gotten in front of the drive line, right? So I just thought that was a good point to make here. All right. And you see how she's kind of getting it now. And with him just, you know, giving her some direction, she's moving off. You see? And the other thing that I like to, like a, like a visual, is I like to picture, like, like, like picture you have a laser pointer coming out right in the middle of your sternum, right? Right in the middle of your chest. And that's when you turn that, Wherever you're pointing that, like I said, this is a laser, wherever you're pointing that, that's where the pressure is going. So it's really important to know, like, a, like my shoulders are this way, right? I'm not even at the horse. So if I turn my shoulders, and if I, if I was doing the horse right now, if I, if I turn my shoulders, I would push the horse that way. Sure. You follow? So... 
And what you want to kind of do is you want to think like when you're working with horses like this. Now, I've got to be careful because I don't want someone getting hurt, but you want, you want to pretend, I think Mark Langley, he's an Australian horse trainer, he talks about it like being a tree and setting your roots down in the ground, okay? That is your spot. This is your spot. You want to have that kind of attitude with a horse because they're going to be like that with each other, okay? And they understand it. So the you set your roots down. So you don't like if you don't want to be stepping back. When you step back, horses are super hyper uh, sensitive to that and observant of that kind of stuff, and they're going to think that you're below them. And if you're below them, they can feel liberty to do all sorts of things: push on you, paw you, bite you, kick you, anything like that. Run through you if they're scared. Okay, all that's bad, right? You don't want that. So. So he's going to send her. You're going to try to send her between the rails? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Try uh, to loosen it up. Like, take that rope. You, I got, you got a bunch up in your hand. It might be easier if you just kind of, like, do it, like, here. Like, uh, just like, never like, yeah, let, I know it's kind of awkward. You let it go. Like you, once you get rid of the flag here, like, go like that. Once you get rid of the flag, it'll, your hands will be free. You know, then it's a lot easier. I like, we do a little bit longer when we're doing this kind of stuff because sometimes so far, neither of these fillies have done anything, but sometimes they really shoot out and run out and scoot out and you want to have enough rope that you can let it slide through your hands a little bit before you, you know, pull on them or something like that. So that's why I do it. So it gets a little awkward sometimes when you're holding all the rope, you know. See, so, yeah. You want to try to get her, Kevin, you want to try to get her to do that where she plants her front feet yeah. and swings her. So you're probably going to have to pull like, you know how Eric says to pull straight up yeah. You know, try to do more of that. Because she's going, when she goes through that, that rail, she's going to, uh, she's probably going to go behind you, you know. <clears throat> you don't like it when I disengage your hind leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's not used to somebody doing that. Yeah, somebody telling him to do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. And you can, like, walk directly at her hind end, too. Good girl. Yeah, that'll help you. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. And you notice how that... that that line is not it's not real tight a lot of times it just hangs you know like look at it, it's not really pulling on her very much it's a, but that's all it takes like horses are sensitive you know now sometimes if you get one that's been kind of dulled out you got to get you know, you'll have to get rougher at first because they just don't they don't they've learned to ignore been trained to ignore everything so going to center between the rail. Neither of these horses have been <laughs> at all worried about this. So I am going to try to get one that's, I don't even know who, I, was, I thought maybe she would be worried about it, but she's not. You know. A lot of times they will shoot right through there like it's, like their tail's on fire. And, uh, you know, but these guys just aren't, they don't, they don't seem to mind. But see, she's not, 
she's not ready yet, Kev, you know, to take her to the trailer because she's not doing it real good, you know. Like, even though she's going between the him and the rail right now, yeah. this is, if I had to, I would try to go to her trailer, but I'd rather work a, some more, put some more time on this so that she goes, like, she knows that it, that she should move when his when he gives her that direction. Yeah. Yep. And you switch hands, Kevin, you would center right back that through that way. See, I did that flag there to stop her from going circling around his back, you know. That's one of the common things I'll do. Now, see, so he got, like, she was kind of getting in his face, so he put his hand up there. That's what you want to do, too. There you go. That's good. Yep. Taking the obligatory poop. <laughs> yeah, she had. Yeah, she had a poop. And sometimes they'll do this, like crouch like that. Uh, it's kind of like they'll do that with their mom when they're scared. You know, they'll kind of. You know, moms tolerate all that stuff, but none of the other horses do. You, they they would never crowd into a horse, an unknown horse. You know they would. They have buddies out there, like in the pasture, that are their friends. They call them butt buddies, like where they they'll sit there and groom each other and everything. Those ones they probably would, you know, go up to. But just random horses, it's something a horse would not not do. A horse that has any horse sense that's been around other horses. Now if it's a bottle fed or something like that, a lot of times those ones act kind of really aberrant, they have really weird kind of behaviors. They don't know how to be a horse, you know. Okay, so he's still trying to get this. So this is about, this is kind of real time and how it would probably work for you. Um, you know, I think this is the first time Kevin has done this particular, like, thing. So he's still feeling it out. Try well, what I would do is I would, Kevin asked, should we try? What I, what I would do is I'd put the flag down and do it with the rope. Check. You know, like how you, and you'll find you'll have, you'll have a le less of a hard time managing the rope too. Because you want to get to the point to where you just smack your leg, you know. Okay. Here he goes. So we're going to see how how she does with this here. So I send her through that way. That's good. Let's take a bumper, turn around, switch hands, and he's going to send her through. There you go. That's that. important that I stay out of the way too because I don't want to be like a pressure wall for her to you know that she doesn't want to walk into my space kind of thing you know you see how that's all loose so what I do Kevin do that thing where you go whack and you smack your leg you know whack you know I don't know if you see me do that there you go There you go. Max. <laughs> I know. 
just want to make sure that she's got this really good uh, before you go there. But if you can see how, you know, she's pretty relaxed about this. She's getting it, you know. I mean, she's not, you know, flying. You know, it's nothing to write home about. Like, wow, that was amazing how fast she moved through there. But usually, to be honest, they're shooting through there like, you know, like really fast and frantic and scared. And then we have to get them to this point. So the fact that these guys are at this point, eh. I mean, it's, it doesn't make an exciting video but it's really what you want because I mean you don't want them rushing by you to run in the trailer or you know being frantic or scared you want them just be oh this is no big deal this is a big calm sort of thing right yeah I think you can take her now we'll yeah we'll take her over there I think it had a lot to do with the flag yeah yeah we just need to get used to that you see how we we don't when we show them how how people lead their horses wrong like with their hand underneath their chin yeah you'll see this a lot you don't want to do this and lead your horse like that like with your you know your hand like right on the lead rope underneath the chin or something people think that they have more control and stuff like that you want this loose you want this loose line like this and uh, let them be responsible for their own feet you know they're smart enough they can figure this out and if, if you you know a lot of times you, you feel like you have control but honestly you don't have any control if you're holding them that way if they want to go they're going to go right all right so i'm going to turn this off and turn it back on when we're at the trailer okay here we're back at the trailer and i'm excited to see how kevin does this is the first time he's ever trained one to trailer load so see how she does you might just follow him right in but I'd stand here, Kev, and do that thing, like we just send her in, you know, and yeah, and just do that like where you, just like you would, send her in. Okay, and this is where you don't put any more pressure. She's sniffing now. She's still sniffing, so. So this is when you don't. Now, yeah, he's blocking her, because her running over this side is, is, is one thing you don't want to let happen. So, yeah, just stand off the thing. You're fine. There you go. And um, just wiggle the thing like you just like you did, like you're picturing that you're going to get her in through the rails there. Yeah, see? So this is when you don't. There, now you put a little pressure. You just wiggle the rope in your right hand. There you go. See, so stepped out, wiggle the rope in your right hand. See, she knows what that means. So, she's trying. She's trying. Now you wiggle the rope. There you go. Step blocked her from going past him on the on that side. Easy, easy. So, so this is her being a little anxious, okay? But she knows what he wants. So now she just got to work. See, this is what, that's why we teach him that thing. That's a pressure. And so, so when she steps back, turn the pressure on. She steps forward, you stop. Everything with, with horse training is timing. Well, timing and relationship, getting a good relationship with him. A lot of times they'll, they'll kind of crowd you here like, like she's doing. It's kind of normal. I think they're afraid, you know, but you just got to keep mind your space a little bit. But he's doing good. See, you just put a little pressure. Okay. And she's, she's processing stuff. See, she's thinking about it, bobbing her head, you know. See how she's jumpy a little bit. Now this is when you, you you might think, oh, if I just put a little bit more pressure, she'll go in, like, you know, tap her on the butt or something. 
you do that and you're going to add 20 or 30 minutes to this. <laughs> I just guarantee it, you know. So, all right. See how he stopped instantly when she took a step forward. See? There you go. See? How he's stopping. There. Good. She's going to do it. This is where you resist. Like you notice, Kevin isn't saying good girl or anything or petting or anything because you don't want it, her to think that that's the goal. You got to let her know that she hasn't quite made it yet. There you go. She's gonna do it. She's real close. And back her up there. She put some pressure on. See how she blew out some stress there? This is hard for them, you know? Goes against all their nature, you know. They don't wanna get in a in a cramped area where they could get eaten or something, you know. Now see she's looking around. Now see how he hasn't he hasn't really increased anything, but he there, she was sniffing, so he stopped. Because you want to work with your horse's curiosity, okay? That's what you do. It's, it's your horse's curiosity. They're very curious creatures. See how she stepped, so he stopped. Try and keep her out of his way. Gonna go. Let's see, I noticed how he stopped. He didn't do any more because she's she's investigating. So now he's gonna. Yeah, she blew out that stress. See, isn't it cool? It's so cool. He's just trying to get her in a better position. Horses will do that all the time. They'll get themselves in kind of a precarious place, you know. There you go. Come on, girl, you can do it. You can do it. See how she's, she's stepping off the ramp here. That's what. So this is kind of some of the stuff that you could be dealing with, you know. He's going to move her around. I mean, we could edit all this kind of stuff out and everything, but then when you'd go to do it with your horse, you'd have to do all this. You'd go, well, what's wrong with my horse? <laughs> so we like to show it all. You know, you can see hand, you know. And so what he did when he moved her around over there was he just, you know, worked her, made it a little bit of work over there, and also helped her blow off some of the stress. You know, just moving her feet. That'll help her. Yeah. Yeah. That's good how you gave her more rain in your left hand, because, or more lead rope in your left hand because she's going to need that getting in there. Now see he's just getting keep getting, getting there from crowding on him. Wow look at that beautiful blue sky. She looks great against that sky. <laughs> yeah she's pretty. See so he's just he's just moving around a little bit. Like here, he'll get her refresh or get her like moving, like with him sending her. See? No, no, not that way. Not that way. There you go. Good. There's Red Pepper. There she is, yeah. So this is, this is all going to translate to him getting at the trailer again. Okay, so now he's walking back up there. Yeah, just try, see, she might follow you right in. There <laughs> she goes. <laughs> and then we, we do this thing like inside, like here, like this. I've not seen a lot of people do this, or I don't know if I've seen anybody really. I've kind of adopted this and found that the horses are, it just helps them settle down about the trailer and if you're close in close like Kevin's in close see have you noticed her her back she's bending her her back and her torso and if you notice like see how she's stepping her feet underneath all that's a good sign see she's getting relaxed 
And because there could be a time where, oh, I don't know, something happens and, you know, I, I don't even know, maybe, I don't even know, but somehow you got to get in there and you got to move the horse around in a tight, confined area. This, this is really good for that, you know, so that's what I found. Look at her, look at her just come right out of like nothing. A lot of times they're just, uh, they have just as big of a problem going out as they do going in. But look at how good she is. And this, um, the, the ramp, my other trailer is a step up. And I've heard people who have step ups, you know, and their horse won't go in them. They go, oh, I just want to get a ramp. And, and people who get a ramp say their horse won't step on the ramp and they want to get a step up, you know. <laughs> and I've noticed that, I've noticed like the, these ramps, the, the, if the horse is going to be scared about the trailer, it'd be just scared about that ramp. It, the stepping up is like nothing. I don't know. You know, they don't they don't care. So I, I haven't found any any difference in in either kind. You know, that was great, Kevin. Yeah. That was really good. All right, there you go. Should people subscribe? They should. <laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.